Hey guys, so I'm I'm back at home. Um, after I made that last video, everything was good. I was praising the Lord. I'm still praising the Lord. I've been pra actually praising Him through this whole thing because no matter what happens, it's His plan, and I don't want to I don't want to have to eat crow pie or whatever that is later when I get all mad at the Lord and then I then He does something really cool and I feel really stupid and like a big old jerk again and I and I emphasize on again. Um, so, anyway, so then the hospitalist stepped in and decided that he was not going to let me have TPN. Um, that's basically, if you people who don't know what that is, that's a feeding tube. Anyway, uh, but because I might get an infection. Well, I, and you know what? He has a very valid point. To be fair, there, I will probably get an infection. I've had so many. Um, that's a very, very valid point. But the alternative is I they want me to just throw up all the time at home and then go to the ER and get my magnesium and my potassium checked and get those brought up. And I don't know if you guys know this or not, but potassium burns. It is a very painful thing. I think I told you that before, but I'm going to tell you again. It's no joke. It burns. It is extremely unpleasant. And, um, so that's what they want me to do. Just keep doing that and then throw up at home and do it so. And then they said, then they made me a GI doctor's appointment for outpatient. So a new doctor, who a different doctor and, um, and they were, but they were willing to keep me there in the hospital for a few more days. But no, if they're not going to give me the treatment I need, I actually have a friend's wedding I'm going to. And quite frankly, I don't care if it kills me. I'm going to this wedding. And, um, because I get to see some people I love very dearly. And that's what I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I mean, it's not financially beneficial or health beneficial, but by golly, I'm going to make it happen. Um, anyway, uh, so, and then I decided that I would cancel the doctor's appointment, and I, I just told them today, this is where I'm at, and I don't know if this can change, but this is where I'm at right now, um, so when I eat, I get really, really sick, and it hurts a lot, a lot, a lot, and I get a small, tiny amount of nutrition for a million times of pain, and then I throw it up, most of it, most of it, and then to some of the stuff I keep down, I can't even absorb anyway. So that's the situation. So and then I have to go to the hospital and get more fluids, and... um and then they get my nausea under control, and I, I don't get pain meds, but sometimes they offer them, and sometimes I decline, and every once in a while I say yes, but um, not regularly. But anyway, and then the problem is I just don't get enough to survive on, so this plan would be prolonging the inevitable. And quite frankly, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say that I'm going to die before the rapture because I don't believe God breaks his promises, but I am going to say I'm done putting myself to the pain of eating. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm done eating. It's not worth the small amount of nutrition and the pain I'm getting just to prolong it a little bit longer and I don't want to do it anymore. Um, I'm done going to the hospital when I'm dehydrated or when my potassium gets too low that my heart might stop because I only feel better for like a day or two, three sometimes um, and then I have to go do it again and I'm not going to do that anymore and I'm not going to go to the doctor's appointment because the doctors are crazy <laughs> I've never ever had this many problems ever in my life.
with doctors. Like, it's never been, like, every now and then you get a one jerky doctor and then the other doctors who are great jump in and fix it right away and that's it. What's ever going on is completely insane and I have never seen anything like it and I can't tell you what it is. But there's something, there's something going on and I'm just, you know, I was sitting in the hospital and I told my husband, I go, do you just feel the dark presence here? I mean, you can feel it in the air. There's just darkness. Anyway, so I'm done. I, I believe we are going home soon and I believe, truly believe that God keeps his promises. I believe that we are all going home this month. I truly, truly believe that in all of my heart, and I'm not telling you guys that this is it, that I'm dying. I'm telling you that this is it, we're going home, because God promised me, and look at it this way, God has, like, stopped every single doctor from giving me care, and stepped in, and I think I'm getting a call from a doctor. Alright, so I'm going to end this video, and just... Say I love you guys and I'll be praying and see you in the clouds.